guys in another review video uh, this time for the audio 7 I uh, was looking for this shoe because the audio 6 was super for me we are in Crete here in Greece so let's start with the review after a quick intro enjoy the video no one can touch me now I'm just flying by Make sure to subscribe and smash like button guys if you like this content activate the notification bell so you won't miss any new video and you guys are making me happy let's split the video in three different chapters uh, the specs uh, the also mid so and upper and finally the conclusions let's start with the specs version 7 is lighter than version 6 uh, 224 grams in comparison with the 255 grams in the audio 6 uh, in my sides you have 10 sides so 31 gram less due uh, probably to the lightweight uh, mesh upper uh, which has a regular fit it has a light strike cushioning with a light strike pro in the forefoot like in the previous version with a drop of 8 millimeters, uh, 27 millimeters in the heel, 19 millimeters in, in the forefoot, uh, exactly like in the previous version, and uh, the continental rubber also. It has a torsion system called uh, uh, torsion rods uh, to increase the response. It has been delivered in three different uh, colorways: uh, uh, cloud white, uh, core black, and gray tree. Starting from the outsole, it looks pretty similar than the previous version, basically the same design, so uh, thicker in the forefoot and rigid, especially at the beginning, you can even hear that from the sound. In terms of grips and durability, uh, it is great, uh, I run more than uh, 500 kilometers in the version 6 and uh, it is still in perfect conditions, uh, but of course we have uh, Still the problem with the stones uh, uh, which get stuck in the um, in the outsole and sometimes can be annoying. The sports foam, especially uh, the Pro in the forefoot, uh, won't be an issue. It is still in perfect condition in my uh, previous version. Let's go ahead talking about the midsole. The midsole is made of the light strike foam with the light strike Pro insert in the forefoot. You can notice the difference of action measured uh, with the durometer here. It's basically the same uh, uh, than in the Adios uh, 6. Of course at the beginning guys the light strike is stiff and firm but you know already guys that uh, after some kilometers according to your weight uh, it gets better and uh, more comfortable it is just at the beginning that it is not that comfortable I would say not at all of course uh, I felt the difference uh, with the previous version the, which has more than 500 kilometers so in terms of running dynamics we have basically the same uh, metrics collected for the uh, Audio 6 here they are in general, the other 6 and 7 have a great efficiency uh, in terms of vertical oscillation ratio uh, and uh, a good response, of course, not comparable with the shoes like uh, uh, Takumi Sen8, uh, which is great. The major change is in the upper. The upper has at least 50% uh, recycled content. Uh, it's made of flexible mesh material, which uh, ensures uh, optimal breathability. I haven't felt such a big uh, difference in the forefoot, uh, but rather more in the heel area, where uh, we have a big change uh, in the color, which is uh, much more leather than in the previous version, similar to the Takumi Sen8 uh, or Adios Pro. 
The fit is perfect, uh, but the lockdown was better in the uh, previous version, in my opinion. The finial counter um, doesn't lock uh, my heel in place uh, as the previous version, leaving a bit of room uh, in the internal side of the heel, uh, but it is not a deal breaker. It also makes the shoes uh, a little bit more difficult to wear than uh, the previous version. Internally, in the counter, we have uh, uh, some padding, which helps uh, um, to keep the feet locked. Uh, the counter is lower than in the previous version, so uh, it should not annoy too much uh, in case there is a protection which you can use. In terms of laces, uh, it is a traditional ones and uh, a great improvement is that uh, the second line of rings uh, which allows to adjust the lockdown for thinner fit um, is on both sides of the lockdown system. The overlay material looks uh, still the same as in the Audio 6 uh, and uh, the tank is thinner and lighter with less padding uh, to reduce the weight. I prefer the tank in the Audio 6 uh, because much more comfortable. Let's jump to the conclusion now. Uh, overall I felt like uh, to run in the Audio 6, uh, more lighter. It has the same response and efficiency but the lockdown doesn't convince me um, like in the previous version. Uh, I tested it in different conditions and uh, paces and uh, for sure it can be used uh, uh, as a rising shoe considering the weight and uh, the running dynamics collected starting from a 5k till uh, a marathon. You know, for training as well, uh, considering the durability of the hot sole and the response of the shoe, it's perfect for tempo run and uh, uh, for interval trainings. Uh, and I believe the Audio 7 mm, as uh, the Audio 6 could be my daily trainer, uh, so quite versatile shoe. Uh, actually, uh, I love it, guys. The price is not that bad. Uh, we are talking about uh, another 40 euro um, instead of another 30 euro of the previous version. Question of the day should I buy the previous version? Or, um, which is in discount, or uh, should I buy the uh, Audio 7? Uh, just let me know in the comment below. Uh, I would say that after having tested the, the 7, I'm still considering to buy another pair of uh, Audio 6 uh, because I found it more comfortable, especially in the lockdown uh, with a better counter, and maybe to use the Audio 7 more for raising. Uh, now I'm curious to compare the RC4 with the Audio 7. Let's see the result in one of the next video. So I hope guys it was interesting. Uh, that's um, why I'm doing actually this video. So just let me know, uh, leaving a like. And if you are not yet subscribed, uh, it is so important for me and uh, for the channel. And it costs nothing to you, just one click. As always, as always guys, thanks for watching. And till the next time, keep running. Ciao. <laughs>